In this lesson, let's talk about, talk about uh, visibility of the light. If you render your light, as you can see, you can just see the effects of that light. Go into the general and make it the hard. We can just see the effect of light. But if you want to see that, how can I, uh, uh, how can I do that? Okay, uh, I bring the light <clears throat> inside that RTC logo. Yeah, now. You can see it better <clears throat> and as you can see if you render you cannot see the uh, visibility of the light inside now first uh, it's better to see it here then i will be change it <clears throat> go to the general and we have it uh, another sitting call here and it has own tab visibility with lots of interesting sitting in the general, we have visibility. It's very simple, visible. And as you can see, handle will be appear here. And you change the range of the visibility of that light. You can create, and as you can see, you can see your light source. <clears throat> and like this, because we have from the source to the end of this uh, sphere, a fall off. And as you can see, you can see the visibility of the light which is fall off. You can just visible that, you can see it. That's very simple. But if you create this light inside, as you can see inside, we have another thing that's called volumetric. If you enter the volumetric here, you can see the effect of the volumetric. It's collide the objects and uh, it's create a fog, dust like this. It's a volumetric, <clears throat> volumetric light. Nice. For better seeing that, as you can see, you can see it in a picture. This is a volumetric. You can create a volumetric here. We have an inverse volumetric. It's exactly inverse. It does not if you uh, let's volumetric render to compare it in a picture viewer and inverse it's exactly inverse of that you can see it <clears throat> look at if you have a volumetric uh, it's inside that object that has a lot of hole here and you can see the ray of the lights outside but the inverse it's exactly inverse uh, it's create a light exactly outside of that object not inside it's inverse if you want you can use it you can create an interesting effect for example here and uh, render <clears throat> as you can see this is an inverse volumetric created such a like effect interesting effect and this is our it's light the uh, outside object outside of the object so you can use these uh, effects for your creative works and <clears throat> as you can see you can see the volumetric okay we see to the visible and going to the visibility as i said before in a visibility for visibility we have a fall off for visibility we have a gradient uh, if you go to the detail we have another gradient here because this is the this gradient and with, with this gradient is different <clears throat> in a general uh, if you change the color if you go into the details if you choose use gradient here if you choose use gradient here <clears throat> first you have to act the fall off i will be explaining it it actually changed the color of the light First, uh, going to general and visibility none. If you go, I will be explained. You can change the fall off to, yeah, it's nice. Change the fall off, use gradients, for example, from a red or any color to, and as you can see, it affects the light of the color. The light of the color, you can render it. This is our gradient. Control Z. And if you go to the visibility and use the gradient, it go into the general or visibility, <clears throat> make it the visible. And this is change the mm, gradient of the visible light and it does not affect the objects. Okay, 
you can double click to change from red to a nice color and if you render and as you can see just <clears throat> change the render visibility of that your color not the uh, exact object object nice from red to the green and as you can see the objects are also yellow because the color of the uh, white the color of the color, light is white <clears throat> so the <clears throat> difference between the using gradient in the detail and the visibility is very important okay so we have like here and you can make it another exhibiting. okay uh, this is and uh, use the fall off and as you can see we have a fall off if you turn the fall off off as you can see we have no fall off here the this is in the range of the visibility and we have exactly uh, <clears throat> object like this the light like this because it has no fall off from the source to the border of the, your sphere if you use the fall off and as you can see from the source to the end of the uh, light visibility range we have a fall off you can change the fall off percentage uh, from source to the this area with percent <clears throat> and use the edge edge as our the turn off because we have to use the spotlight for those things and we have here nice and as you can see this is the end range of the color uh, spotlight make it about to render it better <clears throat> and as you can see this is the visibility range of that this handle you can change the visibility range of that and as you can see from red we have to degree into a spotlight you can see the visibility grease gradient you can turn it off make it exactly white and in the visibility and as you can see use the edge fall off will be turned on and if you render and as you can see from this source to the edge we have a smooth and fall off if you turn it off and as you can see we have a hard edges so this one use a fall off edge and you have a percentage you can change it for the color edge fall off you have to turn on the gradient and if you render as you can see the gradient is calculated from the source to the end of the visibility handle but if you turn off the color edge fall off and render this fall off <clears throat> will be created from center of the uh, as, as you can see we have a red here more reddish as you can see the red is in the core of the light going to the edge because of the color edge gradient if you want you can use it okay inner radius and outer radius is exactly this Look at the handle this is an outer distance for uh, defining the visibility if you create an inner radius as you can see this is our inner radius <clears throat> the fall off will be uh, will be created from this point to the, this point and from the source to the inner radius we have 100 percent of the visibility and the fall off will be occur in two inner and outer radius relative scale relative scale is for a 3d light like omni and as you can see we have our fall off in visibility and now in visibility you can scale as you can see you can scale your visibility of your light and create a, such awesome effect with your visibility don't forget to that we can interesting jobs with that right click right click to reset it <clears throat> sample distance brightness and dust uh, okay for doing that uh, we create an another omni light there and bring it inside that object nice it's exactly inside <clears throat> and turn uh, and in general the visibility in volumetric nice and render it and as you can see we have a nice volumetric color light and as you can see we have some bad quality of light 
Nice. We can change the visibility handle like this. Now, as you can see, we have a, for better quality to these edges, you can uh, give a lower number to sample distance. Uh, if you more if you want more quality um, the sample distance uh, if you have a smaller number the, it means the the distance between the sample uh, decreases and so we have more dense samples so we have more quality so be careful about this number uh, in a huge scene you have time consuming to render it's very time to render. You can change the brightness of your visibility here is 100% or you can above that brightness. If you want to create a dust on your, uh, as you can see, if you can create a dust on your volumetric if you want it, it's it's better to combine it with the particles, very simple. Dithering, if you have two volumetric objects that intersect to each other for It is, I think, a general visibility, volumetric, volumetric. To correct the issues that they are intersecting to each other, you can change the detering, detering uh, number here. And I explain, uh, use gradient here, adaptive and uh, adapt brightness. For better understanding those, I give you some image. Look, look at. For example, if you have three volumetric uh, light here, yeah, this is image is better. As you can see, we have these three volumetric that are intersecting to each other. If you turn the additive, it means add, it add the volumetric lights to each other. And it looks like this. And uh, Adopt brightness if you, for example, have two ray of the uh, light spotlight, and as you can see, this light is uh, more softer and this light is brighter. And if you turn on adaptive, it's uh, avoiding the overexposed brightness and make them adopt to each other. So these are very complex settings here that you can change it if you want. Okay, so it is all about <clears throat> visibility and you can uh, direct it from use visibility light here or if you want, make it none. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.